Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 3. So last time, we traversed the Little Toes' Tunnel, but without any magic. So we were kind of in trouble, but now we are good, so let's go. I actually made it to the Viking's Cove right here, and that is where I ended the part, so let's go ahead and do this. The Viking's Cove, despite it looking like a dungeon, it actually isn't a dungeon, believe it or not. So in here, we're actually going to be able to restock on stuff. A lot of good items, so let's see here, what the hell is this guy doing? Who are you? Let me sleep, I'm dreaming of sailing. Okay, whatever. So these are actually Vikings here. I mean, if you can already tell by the name Vikings Cove, you know. But anyways, there really isn't anything here except for, well actually I believe this takes us to the inn. Yes it does. Or really just shops, whatever. It's the inn combined with magic shops, so let me see here. Fire, blizzard, thunder. Wait, thunder doesn't have to, what the? Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What in the hell? Hold on here. What magic does everybody know? Cure, fire, blizzard. Fire, blizzard. Cure. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, you're a white mage. I forgot. And then blizzard, fire, and then you have sleep. So I'm just going to be using blizzard and fire for the other ones, and then thunder for you. I could technically teach you fire as well. Somebody. Because I'm going to be getting a fire item in here. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to buy thunder. Could buy two. Actually, I will buy two. I don't need sleep. I only need these two, and then that's fine. Poison blind, not worth it. And we're done. So, time to go to magic. Let's come over here. Let's go to Luneth, and you will now learn thunder. And same thing for you. Learn thunder. There. Now, um, I'm gonna make Rifia actually learn. Not that, but Kira. So there we go. That is her level three magic. Ready. Um, alright, that's it. Let me see, what else is there to do? Probably nothing. Nothing this way. Um, what about over here? Shop here? What do you have? No, actually I am going to rest because I have no MP. But hold on. Uh, let's see here. There is nothing good. Nothing that I really want. I mean, I'll just buy like one of each. One of these to reach ten. That's actually kind of important. I'm going to get... Actually, I need a lot of these. I'm going to get fifteen. Burn up all my money on this junk. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see here. 40, sure. Very well worth it. So, we are going to sleep now and heal up our HP, but more importantly, our empty MP, which, you know, we've kind of been holding up for a long time. When, and that's honestly a very bad thing to do. It really is. Slub like a log. You always say that, Lunath. You always say that. So, let's go down. Or, wait a minute. Yeah, this way. Down like this, and I believe there's actually a secret down here somewhere. Um, yes, there is. This one. This contains a chest which has a spark dagger, which I'm not going to be using soon because the next entire dungeon actually requires us to stay mini to traverse the area, so that's kind of a problem, you know? We have to we have to stay like this. We really do. So now it's time for this side, and here there are actually multiple paths. If you take the one on the very left side, this takes you to a secret, down to a random viking, but more importantly, to a chest. Actually, two. Viking axe and 3,000 gil. Sweet. Oh, that's all down here. What the hell? What about this way? Nothing happens. That's a revival spring in case any of your members die, of course. But nothing there. Um, what else? If we go to the next way, which is somewhere down here, actually. Hold on. Wait a minute. What the hell? Wait, did I just come from here? Um, oh yeah, I did. I did. Okay. So if we keep going this way, then head down. This leads to another secret. And this actually contains a couple more chests. It contains, first off, a Thundara spell, and then a Fire spell, and then a Blizzara spell. So, um, we actually aren't at the level to learn Aura spells, so that's the problem. I thought we would. Unfortunately not. Let's see, you know Fire already. I'm gonna make you learn... Um... Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're all level 3, so I'm just gonna make you learn Blizzara. I'm going to hold off on Thundara for now because I'm waiting to see if maybe I can... Actually, I don't think I will by the time I reach the dungeon. That's... Oh, man. That's bad. Oh, well. Magnet is here. No new mail, though. So, let's just keep going. Let's ignore him, you know. This way. Now, heading down leads to a scene. But you have to talk to this guy right here. Never mind. I was wrong. This guy. Hello there, dude. Notice how we turn giant for this cutscene, but then we're going to turn small after the cutscene. 
Yes, I run things around here. There hasn't been much to run since that sea dragon appeared and destroyed most of our ships, though. You look like capable adventurers. If you manage to defeat a dragon, our best ship, the Enterprise, is yours. Really? Promise? Promise. Viking's honor. If you manage to make it back, that is. Oh, God. Okay, so we got, um... We got... Well, actually, we received a new task. Yes, we received a new task. So, we are now out of there. And I'm actually going to save here. It's important because I want to show you something. Something rather funny. So, they told you to beat a dragon with the Enterprise. So, if you actually sail on the ship and you move a little bit forward, what's going to happen is you're going to get a random encounter. And it's going to be the dragon. So, you're like, oh yeah, I got to fight this guy. He's a boss battle. I mean, the problem is, well, take a look. If you do anything, whether it's attacking, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's weak to thunder, but even then, that's going to do pretty much nothing. Discard with you, and that. Take a look at this. 3400 damage, 6500 damage. He gets two attacks, he gets two hits per turn, and I did zero damage. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. So I'm just going to go ahead and guard to die. Now how much does guard reduce it by? I don't know. Let's take a look at this. Well, we got a critical, so I, c I couldn't tell there. Well, not as much actually, only 1300 compared to the 3400 or 6000. So we lost. And that's actually a game over, because you're not supposed to do that. Despite the game kind of telling you you have to do that, no, you don't do that. Instead, actually wait, yeah, it's this one. Instead, the proper thing to do is actually to go past the ship, and you have to walk all the way to the top left corner, until you arrive at this place, a temple. This temple is the key to actually being able to progress in the story, and you will see soon. You will see very soon. So hold on. Okay. Just setting up my map, people. So in here, you actually have to be mini if you want to get through here. If you're not mini, then you're not going to be able to. A statue of the Nepto Dragon. Hey, one of his eyes is missing. Interesting. It looks like this whole... Whole ri I said ho, oh my god. Hole goes on for a bit. We could probably squeeze in there if we use mini. Yeah. Yeah, we could. So? Um, actually, I'm already mi Wait a minute. Oh shoot, yeah, class change. Freaking class poisoning. Let's go through. So again, you have to be mini. Every single character has to be mini. Every single one in your party. So now we are here. In the beginning of the dungeon, and this is actually, well... It's pretty straightforward, actually, but, I mean, you could encounter a couple difficult stuff, and that's kind of... It's a bit luck-based. Hopefully, we don't encounter too many of these crazies, because we are mini. Remember that, we are mini, so we have to be very careful here. These are... Lilliputian, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and use magic with everybody, and hopefully I can do it. Let's see. Um, yes, do it here for you. And... I'm, see, the thing is, I want to save my magic, so my good ones. My thunders and my other stuff, you know, I want to save them for the boss. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the help. We could use this. Dash being your party, doing random helps does... Well, I mean, you, you will see. It helps out a lot. It really does. How much does Blizzard do? Alright, that's good. That's good. Go before him. Thank you. See, unlike in Final Fantasy 2, where you kind of want to get hit sometimes in battle to actually raise your stats in this game, no. Try to go first all the time. If you go first... You still get the same amount of experience and gill, so it's fine. Reefia gains a level, she is now level 9. Okay, she's slightly behind everyone else, but that's because of the, uh... The Mithril Cave junk, you know, that happened. What? Oh, no. This is not good. I think we're gonna get one-shotted here. I think we are. 88, okay, as long as we don't physically attack... Oh, they focused on... Dude. Okay, he's so close to death, though. This is bull. This is seriously bull. Freaking back attacks. I mean, that's one thing I really, really hate about this freaking game. Actually, a lot of Final Fantasy games have back attacks. But they're just... They're just really annoying. Like, they seriously are. And anybody who's played these things, these games knows that. That when they get ambushed or back attacked, it's ridiculous. Sometimes it just ruins the fun out of the game. And honestly, I mean, you're, I mean some people will be like, oh, that, Well, I mean, you know, you get preemptive strikes too. I mean, I understand that, but I would actually be happier if they just got rid of preemptive strikes and ambushes, both, rather than keeping both in there. I prefer consistency over random luck, whether it's bad luck or good luck. You know, I really do prefer consistency. Anyways, 
Let's go ahead and heal up because, you know, we got freaking killed in that match. Not really killed, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get a cure on everybody and then one additional cure on Luna. Alright, sweet. So, over here... This dude, over here there's actually two holes. If you take this one, this one actually leads to an optional area that contains two chests. Only two chests. Which has a shell helm. Go down, you freaking... And a shell armor. So let me take a look. Who can actually equip that? I don't think... Oh my... Wait a minute. This is why I was sucking. This is why I was sucking, because I forgot to equip junk on you two. And you have nothing. Oh, shoot. Well, to be fair, I didn't really have anything either way. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, I have this, which is whatever, but... Only problem is, I don't have any armor. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. That's gonna suck. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, duh. Yeah, it's because... Yeah, it doesn't really matter because you only have one defense anyways when you're mini, so yeah, it's fine. We're losing out on one defense. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I didn't even... Actually, no, I can't. The shell armor and shell helm cannot be equipped by these characters, so let's just go through. And now it's time to go to the second hole, this one. This hole leads to another rather small room. It's not too difficult, but freaking encounters. What now? Print a strike, see? I got the good luck. But honestly, I would have preferred... If I actually got a normal battle in the last one, rather than an ambush or back attack, whatever, and then this one being a normal two, rather than one and one. No, I don't like that. Oh well, though, I mean, you know, they have to include these random luck stuffs, you know, like in freaking every single game, seriously. So it's fine, I guess, although not really at the same time. Again, it's just, it's a love-hate relationship, it really is. Man. How much experience? 110, Luna's job level increased, not that I care because it's really low and I'm not going to be using it very often. Actually, I don't think I'll ever use it after this dungeon. I could be wrong, but for the most part, it's rare. I'm going to be using it very rarely. Serpent Sword, whatever, let's keep going. This takes us to the final room of the dungeon, and this actually contains no more chests, believe it or not. All we have to do here is actually run straight, straight sideways and then straight up, and okay, these guys can actually be fairly difficult. I'm going to be very careful here. Hopefully I get some help though, because I really could use it. Please, Dash, please. I need you now more than ever. Damn it, he didn't. Okay, thank you for attacking the one that was guarding. That's going to be very good. There's a blizzard, which does 99 damage. Just one more blizzard should do it. All of these enemies have around 150 health or something. So, you know, two castings will do it, unless you use thunder, which will be a one-shot kill. But you kind of want to save that. You really do. Okay, and 110 experience, sweet. Let's keep going because we only got hit one time, and she was the one, the one guarding, damn it. Hmm, I mean I could technically keep this battle in here, but I don't know. Actually, I'm pretty sure I would, yeah, I'll just keep it, whatever. Blizzard, Blizzard, and you can guard too because I don't really need you, plus you're going to outspeed them usually, so it's fine. There we go, three blizzards. And just, please go first. Try and kill one, because I don't want to be hit by three. I really need a dash, though. I really did need him. Thank you. One shot kill. 100. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Kill him, kill him. Oh, man, you're weak. Ark, you, you freaking suck at magic. What the hell? You only did 95. Well, at least that one's dead, too. All right, here. Let's see here. Um, All I can do is attack, really. Blizzard, Blizzard. And then hopefully you go before the enemy, that way I don't have to use a phoenix down, because if he gets hit again, he's down. He's gonna die. Alright, if you hear a loud sound in the background, that is actually the garbage truck. Freaking loud sounds, man. Seriously. Actually, let me take a look at that. Yeah, it passed through right in front of us. Alright, sweet. So, we won that battle, and we got 160 experience, art gains level, very nice. And Ingus gains level, perfect timing too, because I'm actually gonna be... Well, you know, what the hell? Alright, let's get another cure here. I'm running out of cures. This is not good. Um, Alright, you know, I'm going to keep you at that health first because I might actually encounter something else first. Let me see here. Keep walking forward. Alright, doesn't look like I will. I'm just going to go ahead and use one more cure then. And heal you up. There we go. Alright, we should be good for this battle. No more encounters, please. Thank you. So here is a giant rat. Who you be? I didn't know that animals can talk. 
You know, take shiny, squeak. Okay, and yeah, I, I know he was going squeak like a real mouse sound or something, or a rat, but whatever. Anyways, this is a giant rat, and um, I believe he has around 900 and something health. Again, it is on screen, and if he has a weakness, an elemental weakness, it will also be on screen. But for the most part, you want to use your strongest spells. Just use thunder with everybody because it's a stronger move. With you, I'm just going to get cure. I mean, I could use arrow technically. You know what, I'm going to do it because it's not like you have a cure slot in level 2. So I'm not going to be wasting it. Let's just go all out. You can use thunder too. So this guy gets two attacks just like pretty much every boss in the game. Let me see, 85 damage, that's not bad I guess. Another 85, I think next turn maybe I should use... Let me see, how much are you going to do? 106, okay. Thunder 2. And... That's going to be another 73, alright, sweet, 73, and an arrow, hopefully this does a lot of damage. Let me see here. It did, no, no, it didn't, damn it. 46. So yeah, two attacks each, and, uh, oh shoot, 103, that's not good. Poison in this game is not too good, just like in Final Fantasy 2, because it does very little damage per turn. In other games, it does a lot. It does a percentage of your maximum health. Let me see, you can go ahead and use Thunder. I'm actually going to see if I have something good here. I have a Zeus's Wrath, and I mean, I have a fire there, but the thing is, I'm not sure what I'm just going to do. Nah, you know what, screw that. I'm just, I'm just going to use magic again, thunder again. And then for you, you can obviously use a cure on everybody, and then you got to use a thunder as well. I just, I wish I had a fire or a blizzard, or a blizzara, but no, I, I couldn't reach it with Ingus. I couldn't reach the level in which he actually gained that. So I've done about... I don't know, actually. By the end of two turns, you know, I'm doing almost about 100 damage per character. Actually, I did less because Ingus did a little bit over 100, but my other three characters went under 100, so I'm doing less than 400 damage per turn, which means he should go down in three turns. Hopefully, though. Oh, man. Man, man, man. All right, you survived. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. All right. Doing good here. Let me just see. Oh, damn it. All right, I gotta use my shitty spells now this and yeah you go ahead and use a blizzard oh man you know what oh, damn it I'm in trouble though because I, I don't have any more good spells and the thing is these are gonna you know what I have to use an item I have to because I can't damn it I really wish I didn't do that though and arctic wind let's use it and then you can use a cure and let's just hope that this does some good damage man this is gonna suck Let's see here. How much? Alright, cool, cool. 200. That is good. That is good. Very good damage. That really caught up in, you know, the damage that I was going underneath. Please, please. Okay, okay. Thank you for the cure, at least. Curing before he attacks. That is very useful. Alright, Angus. Please kill him. Please kill him. You better do it. You're going to do about 80 damage or so. Or 104. Thank you. Done. Alright, so... The giant rat is defeated just like that, and we have cleared this dungeon. Obtain 1500 gil. Sweet. 300 experience. Lunath gains a level. Lunath's job level has increased. Refia gains a level. Yeah, yeah, okay. A lot of good stuff. Alrighty. Obtain Nepto Eye. Interesting. Very interesting. So, we have now gotten this eye, and now we have to go back. This sucks, though. You want to know what sucks about this because we don't have teleport? We actually have to walk out of the freaking dungeon. But the thing is, I'm probably going to do it off screen. Oh, we, oh yeah, we did get a full heal, though. That is good, though. So, the chance of us dying is fairly low. And plus, we now have access to level 3 magic. We, we have one casting each. That is cool. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this off screen. So, um... In the beginning of the next episode, I will be right in front of the Nepto Temple. So yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.